myths that we are half in, in, in many ways. I wrote a piece uh, suggesting that you were naive when you first joined. Surely, <laughs> surely, <laughs> before, uh, when, when, see, when I spoke about Animal Farm, I saw it long before you joined, yeah, but yeah. yet you did not see that before you joined. Yeah. All this imperfection within the day. But when exactly, okay, yes. just tell me, yeah. uh, be, before you joined, how is it that you yeah. did not see all this? And when, when, when you went inside, when was the trigger point that you saw it? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm glad you, you mentioned uh, your reference to me as naive. Uh, but I thought you were right, absolutely right. I was, I was idealistic and naive to think that, you know, DAP was like any other recognizable political party. Um, when I went in, I, I really believed that uh, you know there was a need for a multi-racial political party, uh, and I thought that DAP was it. Uh, until I got in and realized that you know the suspicions of many people that the DAP was a chauvinistic, a Chinese-oriented party. Uh, that was absolutely 100% right. Uh, but over time, I realized that uh, I had got myself into the wrong box. Because, uh, uh, you know, this was a party which was unlike any other party uh, that I know of, you know, either in Malaysia or any, any, any country in the world. Um, uh, for, for, for starters, the top leadership. Uh, uh, people like uh, Ketsiang, uh, Guan Eng, Karpa and others, they were not elected by the delegates. You know, the system is skewed. Uh, the delegates, uh, as you know, uh, elect 20 people. And this, of course, gives rise to manipulation uh, by the leadership to ensure that they would get the 20 people uh, who would be in favor of their continued leadership. So this is the, the sort of party that uh, you know you couldn't recognize. For example, as a vice chairman, on the odd occasion when the chairman was away, I was uh, you know asked to chair the Central Executive Committee meeting. Now I have chaired many meetings in my lifetime. Uh, you know, um, uh, here in Malaysia, company meetings, uh, Transparency International meetings. And uh, you know, uh, in London, the Commonwealth Secretariat, and then in New York at the UN, etc. I have never, never come across a meeting procedure which was so totally different. And honestly, I didn't know where to begin. And how did you begin it? <laughs> because the whole thing is centered on the Secretary General. I see. Yes. You know, it is a bit like the old, well, it's reminiscent, you know, of the old uh, uh, Communist Party, uh, where the Secretary General was the, the, uh, the key figure, and the rest were just there. Uh, you know, the, uh, the animal farm of uh, the story again. So I would suggest that the DAP CEC is actually a Politburo, in many sense. Yes, it is absolutely. It is a Politburo uh, by another name, you know. But it is a Politburo in the sense that uh, you 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 don't contradict the Secretary General. Well, otherwise, um, you know, uh, you'd be sent to a, the equivalent of the Russian labor camp in Siberia. Uh, here, your political ambitions, you know, would be completely destroyed, and you'd be out of the window. I, I, I've, uh, I've known a few of the uh, exiles, uh, Wee Chu Kiong and Lee Lam Chai was one of them from the 80s. And uh, I somehow suspect there's a lot more inside that can't stand the way things are done, but they're not raising their voice. Uh, have you met across a DP member who are like that? Oh, oh yes, in fact I was warned, um, you know, when I first joined the party that uh, uh, you know, by a very senior person, I shall not name him because I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, and he said to me, you know, give me a background of, of, of you know, the party and the party leadership, etc. He said to me, 
you know, don't cross, um, you know, uh, Kitsiang and Guanyin. Uh, otherwise, your political ambitions, of which I had none for a start, uh, you know, uh, would come to a very abrupt end. So, you know, there is this constant fear of treading on their toes. And um, every time the issues are raised, uh, the, the members would be looking at each other and one another, uh, and wouldn't even look at the Secretary General uh, straight in the eye, they are all looking down. So this kind of uh, feeling, I think, is, is really quite unhealthy in a party which you know, it's quick to claim uh, its democratic credentials, which of course it has not. So, basically, this is the most hypocritical party, or at the very least, the most hypocritical leadership that we have seen. And unfortunately, that the very roguish way of uh, political activism has found its way into the Malaysian political system outside of the party. Now, after they've won 38 parliament seats, the Malays have been saying what is the matter of time. They have gotten bigger, bigger for their tenure uh, than, than the Bush can hold them. So, do you fear for Malaysia's political future now that they seem to have a strategic, I would say, they have strategically placed themselves within the framework of the Malaysian political system. Well, that is really uh, my fear and my concern.